Hey, it's BT, and I'm coming to you with the Ass and GP review. I am so excited, and I got and I got some sleep. Cause you guys, people who don't live in the United States, you're lucky. You get to watch the race pretty much on regular time. If you're in the United States, I guess Australia or New Zealand, it's late there too. Uh, but you, but stay up late is different. Well, no. Anyway, uh, I had to stay up late and watch the race, and I was like, ha ha. I take a nap, and now I'm like, ha ha. So anyway, let's get down to the review. Man, was acid not just crazy? It was a crazy weekend. The weather didn't cooperate, which made it even better. I hate it for the riders. I really do. It's got to suck for the riders, but for the fans, it's like the great equalizer. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's get right to it. Moto 3. Oh, my God. Was that so good? Like, oh, my God. Like, you ever been on a date with a girl who over-dramatizes? Dramatic? Dramatic? Over-dramatics. You know, she's like, how's that pizza? Oh my god, this pizza is so good. That's what Moto 3 was like. Seriously, it was like the best pizza in the world, followed by like just the greatest night ever with the greatest pizza. That's what Moto 3 was like. Moto 3, I said it before I say it again. It's like it's like pizza on a Friday night. I mean, it's like it's always gonna be good. And oh my gosh. Props to Pekka Bagnaya and props to Moto GP for having the helicopter shot of the last race at last chicane because you can't really appreciate what bagnaya did unless you watch the helicopter shot oh my god that helicopter shot what he did well, all those guys if, and if i was fanati honest if i was fanati just put on some boxing gloves for sasha ring and just and just sit in the corner and just start throwing pop because i don't know what he's doing wrong he's doing everything right and he's not he's not winning races. He's barely finished on the podium, and he's a great racer. He's in third place, but I don't know what he's doing wrong. Anyway, props to Pekka Bagnaya. Props to Mino, even though he got demoted a uh, place. And props to um, uh, Fabio uh, DG and Antonio. You see me how I, I, I fudged that up, DG and Antonio. Anyway, you know who you are. Like I said, you gotta love the kid who has braces. Any kid who has braces, you go, oh. I mean, see, he can say something about my mama. You go, your mom is stupid. I go, what'd you say, man? And he go. He, oh, he's got braces. So anyway, Bob, uh, Fabio DJ Antonio, man, a great race. Moto three was awesome. And props to Pekka Bagnai. He needed that win. He needed that, and and, and I think it's going to help him in the future. People talking about the, you know, it's over. And I really do think Brad Bender's going to win the championship. But I tell you what, Bagnaya is always there. And I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. But I like to see Bagnaya in the coming weeks. String together a couple of victories and try to pull a pressure on him, see what he's made of, you know. But I think it was great. Congrats to uh, Bagnaya. Congrats to all of them, and uh, and to uh, Fanati. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Good job. I don't know what to tell you. Move on to Moto Two. Uh, Nakagami. Congrats to him. Uh, he needed that race. Congrats to him. Uh, congratulations to Morbidelli. Uh, Morbidelli and Z Zarco. Here's what's weird about Moto Two. Okay, Moto Two. It's, it's tied now. Uh, the championship is tied between Zarco and Renz. They're tied up at 126 apiece. You know who's in third? Sam Lowe's. Honestly, Sam Lowe's to me is like a ghost. It's like, I don't even know he's there. And I was like, boom, he's there. Sam Lowe's. And that's what he's like. I, I don't even know he's there sometimes. Like, he'll he'll be in the top three and he'll drift back or or he'll win a race. Like, oh, yeah, Sam Lowe's. Oh, yeah. I, I can't explain it. And I know he can't. I know he's frustrated also. But, um. Pro and props to Alex Marquez. Alex Marquez finally got there. He finished in the top 10. So props to Alex Marquez, who had a horrible year. He needed those points. Like Donald Trump needs class. Donald Trump has all the manners of a $2 whore. Uh, but if you're in America, and he's an embarrassment. But still, Alex, uh, uh, Alex Marquez, congratulations. He got some points. It's been a tough year, so good for him. He, had, he ran a great race. race was, that race was crazy. He had a pazzi. He had a pazzi. But congratulations to uh, Nakagami and Morbidello and Zarco. Uh, it's going to be Moto 2 is going to come down to the last race of the year. And if it does, if Moto 2 comes down to the last race of the year, I'm taking Zarco. Zarco is a nice guy, but he, he's nasty on the track where you have to be. And Rind is smooth. But he, uh, he he likes that grit, like uh, that uh, you know, kind of you know where it's time to get nasty, where the, where they don't see you elbows like Baldassari did. Uh, <laughs> Baldassari did my buddy uh, Dominica Gutter when he he elbowed him. Did you see that? I saw that. You may not saw that. I saw that. Anyway, let's get to MotoGP. MotoGP. That race was about as crazy. It, it, seriously, it, it it was just crazy. I mean, they didn't know what uh, how, what tires to put on in the beginning. Was it going to rain? Was the track going to dry out? And then it rained. And then what tires to put on again? And then if you crash, you're out of the race. Oh, I'm not out of the race. I get to go. I mean, 
It was nuts. It really was. Um, I thought Rossi was going to win it. He looked the, most, the smoothest out of all of them. And then watching Rossi crash was like, oh, my God. I mean, he had it. And I just thought the first, the first I would have been happy with the race not even uh, with being over after the first race. I like watching races, but when it gets dangerous like that, it's it's hard to watch because I, I, I watch it like, like uh, it's like watching like, I, as this foreign exchange student we had at my junior college named uh, Nasumi. She was from Japan. And she used to wear these high heel shoes and it, and it would be cold, it'd be ice on the ground. And she always come out of the dorm room running and she would turn a corner. And it was like watching the cartoon. She'd be like this, like, oh, Nasumi's going to fall. And she never fell. She had high heel shoes on, and she never fell. That's what it was like watching MotoGP. You're like, ah. and race one, nobody really crashed. I think it was a uh, um, uh, Hernandez who crashed. And Hernandez, give it up for Yanni. I feel so bad for Yanni. I thought Yanni was gonna win it. If that race would race one would have continued, I think Yanni would have won. And I was rooting for him, and it just didn't happen. Um, and then, uh, and then it was really getting good because Rossi and uh, Dovey were catching up with him. And then, if you look behind, Marquez and Pedrosa were catching up to him. And it was going to be a really great race, and they red flagged it, and uh, and it and it became a whole other race, which it was uh, when they uh, did the start of uh, the race again. It all changed, and I really thought I kind of thought Rossi was going to win. I thought he was pushing too much, like ah, Rossi, just let, 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 let back off. And watching all of them crash, Dovey crash, Crutchlow crash. Um, and watching the maturity of Mark Marquez. What Mark Marquez did, that's the new Mark Marquez. We might not like it, but that's what wins championships. Uh, watching him be a uh, gentleman, like, you know what, Jack? You go. He basically said, hey, Jack Miller, it's going to be your first victory. You go ahead, and hey, good luck. Because he knows Jack is kind of a little ragged, and he's crashed a lot. So he said that without saying that. But still, congratulations to Jack Miller, man. He did what it took to win. People can say what they want to say. He won a MotoGP race. Even he knows what people are saying, but it doesn't matter. He won the race, and that's all that matters. He won a MotoGP race. God bless Jack Miller, man. And Scott Redding. Scott Redding did it. Good for him. You know, it's good to see new faces. I don't know about you guys. I like seeing new faces on the podium. Congrats to Scott Redding. Congrats to Jack Miller. I thought it was a great race. Uh, a couple notes I have. Uh, the Ducatis at one time, out of the six riders, Ducati had four in the top six. Those ducks like that water. Those ducks like that water. I know, that was cheesy, but I had to go there. Uh, I thought they did a great job in, in race one. And nobody is giving Eugene Laverty. Eugene Laverty is having one of the best uh, uh, seasons, man. Eugene Laverty is doing the damn thing. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to Mark Marquez. Um, people say it, it's over in, uh, for Rossi. Hey, we still got 10 more races to go. So anything can happen. Uh, but I, although it is strange, he's crashed twice. He's crazy. He didn't. He didn't set a bad foot forward last year, and uh, and he lost the championship. And now he's he's crashed twice. But tell you what, it's still don't count out Rossi. And I tell you what, when it comes to when it comes to two things, two things are important. You know who doesn't like water? Dogs and Jorge Lorenzo. Jorge Lorenzo. I just really think Aston's got his number. Aston is in his head. No matter what happens, it could be sunshine in Aston, and for some reason Jorge be like, huh? Two years ago, broken collarbone, and he and he'll just he'll. He'll nut up, basically, is what he, he did. And that's what he did. And I can't talk. I'm not talking bad about him at all. But, I mean, he is what it is. Even he said it. He was going to quit. When he was, like, 19th, he was going to bring it in. He was 19th, and he was going to bring it in and say, I quit. That was what he said. Watch it. Uh, he, he was going to quit. A three-time champion. Why'd you quit? I just felt like it. Anyway. Uh, props to everybody who finished that race. Jorge did come back and finish, I think, 12th or 13th. So congratulations on the, on the second part of the race. That saved his ass, that second part of the race. Otherwise, no points for him. But he did get points. Uh, Marquez is still 24 points ahead of him. I thought it was great racing. I loved Aston. I thought it was a great job, all of those guys, man, for putting it together, especially MotoGP. Those guys, they use their brains as, as well as their uh, racing savvy to get the right tires and to bring it home. Uh, props to all those guys. Rider of the race, I got. it's going to be a toss-up between Jack Miller and Peko Bagnaya getting uh, Mahindra's uh, first victory ever, 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 ever. Ever, ever. So, congratulations to Pekka Bagnaya and Jack Miller. Everybody talked crap about him. He had a broken uh, f a leg at the first part of the season. 
and he came through and did the damn thing, even though it was in the wet and everybody else crashed. It doesn't matter. He won a MotoGP race. Congratulations, jackass. You jackass. Congratulations. So, ride of the race. Pack it back now and Jack Miller to toss up. Thank you guys for watching. And this is finally coming in at a little bit over 10. So, thanks for watching. Thought it was a great race. Can't wait to see you guys at the Sasha Ring. All right. Talk to you later. BT MotoGP review. Assin. Peace.